Good afternoon all. It's the little jewel thief which I've built on a tiny little uh, breadboard here and that's working well but uh, today I wanted to ask the question how few turns can you have on this uh, little transformer? So what I've done is I've built some alternative transformers. This one has um, 20 turns but it's 20 turns on the primary 20 turns on the secondary. I'll draw that in a moment. So I've made this one with just six turns, six turns on the primary and six turns on the secondary. Um, I've also made a transformer with just four turns. See if that one works. And for the ultimate craziness, two turns. So let's draw the circuit diagram of the jewel thief. Uh, we'll start with VCC. Now VCC is quite low, uh, 1.2 volts here because uh, I'm using a nickel metal hydride. That's got some bad connections somewhere on that breadboard. So my uh, LED is flickering a bit. So VCC. Now this uh, goes to the two windings of the inductor. So let's show those. And that shows that it's a transformer. Um, now you have to put a dot here which shows that one is wound uh, one way and the other one is wound the other way. Uh, right next we have a transistor it's um, an NPN so we want an arrow coming out like that. I'm using a, a 2N3904 general purpose NPN transistor and oh I've written that just where the LED goes haven't I that's annoying so that goes to uh, ground right the LED well I'll draw it with a break it'll kind of work goes uh, like this now which way does it point yes I think it points um, anode no cathode to ground like so so that's the uh, light emitting diode. We'll put uh, a couple of lines there. That was really stupid putting that uh, label there, wasn't it? Then we've got a uh, resistor which goes to the base of the transistor. And that's really it for the Jewel Thief circuit diagram. Um, other than to label my resistor, now at the moment I'm using a 10K, um, but we'll try different values. And here I've got 20 turns, 20T and 20 turns. So we've got 20 turns on both sides of this little transformer. Right, let's start by replacing the uh, 20 plus 20 turns transformer in here with this one. This is 6 turns um, plus 6 turns. You can count sort of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but there's an additional kind of joining up at the bottom which I'm counting as the sixth turn. Let's put that one in. I'll bring the camera up a little bit so that uh, we can see what's going on. Okay, so let's pull that one out. Put in the sixth turn transformer. And it doesn't work. So let's try uh, one thing which is to take out this 10K and put uh, a 1K in the circuit. See if that works. No, that's not working either. Now the only way I could find to get this to work with so few turns was actually to feed, uh, fit a capacitor and that capacitor goes um, in parallel with that resistor and if I put that in, this is quite a small one, this is 220 PUF, 220 picofarads, um, it starts working again. So uh, with that capacitor I can go down to um, a six turn transformer. So let me add the capacitor into my circuit diagram. So there we are, 220 picofarads in parallel with the 10K resistor. Actually, it's not at the moment, of course. It's in parallel with my 1K resistor. Let's take that out. And you can see there that it doesn't work just with the capacitor. You do seem to have to have the capacitor and the resistor. Let's put the 10K in. Um, yeah, well, it's working, but it's much dimmer um, than with the 1K. With the 1K um, this transformer works and provides a, a much brighter light. Okay let's take um, that out. We'll stay, go back to the 10K which is what I've got in my diagram. 
and we'll now go to the four turn transformer see if this one works and uh, no it doesn't with only four turns actually it looks like only three turns actually let's get in a bit closer on that um, but I'm um, again once again I'm calling the the sort of turn under the bottom there the fourth turn so it is in effect four turns not many turns on that one um, okay so let's try this 220 peak farad capacitor on this one see if that works yes that's got it working but um, it is quite dim once again let's take out the 10k and put in the 1k so it's a more current going to the base of the transistor um, yeah that's okay but it's still not as bright as I'd like it so let's now try changing the capacitor this is a 220 picofarad as I say let's put a 1n in so that's a 102 and that does seem to be brighter so with only four turns it seems I get the best result with a low value resistor 1k definitely got some connection problems on here um, and increase the value of the capacitance to 1n 1 nanofarad okay let's try taking yeah I'm just wondering actually whether the frequency with uh, fewer turns like this is much much higher I would kind of guess it was intuitively that makes it makes me think that the frequency is likely to be much higher and therefore we've got some sort of stability problems with the connections on this breadboard it does seem to be more difficult to get it to just work reliably okay let's pull that one out I'm going to leave the capacitor and the resistor in because there's no way it's going to work on two turns um, without them let's put the two turn transformer in and uh, no with two turns I cannot get the Jewel Thief to run at all. I've tried all sorts of combinations of low value resistors, even taking that 1K right down to 100 ohms. Uh, tried different capacitors, gone up to a 10N, but no, with just two turns, and it's hardly surprising, it doesn't work. So um, that doesn't work. Let's go back to the four turn transformer, which does work. Um, now what's really the thinking behind this? Well, I was thinking if I'm going to be building lots of these, which I am because I want to do my um, dual thief logic with the uh, additional component, which is this little light dependent resistor so that you can switch the thing on and off with that. I'll fit that in a moment, actually. Um, I really was thinking if I'm going to be building lots of these things, it would actually be easier if I didn't have to wind quite so many turns on. So just really through laziness I was thinking well how few turns can you get away with and certainly you can get it down to four turns um, taking it down two turns seems to be a step too far um, but it does seem that with the fewer turns well certainly with the fewer turns you need the additional component which is this capacitor with a lot more turns you don't actually need that capacitor it works without it so there's a bit of a trade-off there um, one thing I did think might be useful for designing logic circuits using um, the Joule Thief is if the frequency of oscillation is quicker, then there would be fewer problems with sort of um, switching of the Joule Thieves um, when the LEDs are pointing at LDRs and the sort of inherent switching of the LED since that's switching on and off anyway. There may be something I can do about that. I think um, you can put a capacitor across the LED to keep it uh, on more of the time or even possibly to keep it on all the time so that it's not switching on and off um, at what I assume here because of the few windings on the transformer what I assume is a very high frequency. Uh, so despite the apparent problems I'm having with connections here um, let's move the transformer over to the next row and refit the LDR because I just want to see whether this thing um, switches reliably with the LDR in circuit. Now the LDR um, goes here base to emitter I'll put the little zigzag in that's the light dependent resistor I'll put the little arrows coming in 
So that's where the LDR goes. Uh, let's use my torch here and I'll just shine the torch at that. Yeah, so that switches on and off fine. I can switch the LED on and off. Oh, well, then maybe it would be all right if I went back to my four turn transformer. And what I'm thinking here is because I'm faffing about trying different components um, just on this breadboard, it might actually be better to do a circuit simulation of this, possibly. So is that working? Yeah, and if I block the light, I can turn that on and off with the LDR. So even with a very uh, few turns, that's the four turn transformer, the switching on and off with the LDR still works completely reliably. It's just getting the right components on here to get the right brightness out of the LED so that it can then uh, trigger the next Jewel Thief in, this, in the chain. Um, yes, I was thinking I might simulate this using some circuit simulation software. But uh, yeah, certainly in my tests, I've managed to get it to work down to just four turns on the primary and four turns on the secondary, if indeed those are what they are. Uh, also works with the LDR if I can get my connections to work reliably. Um, so yes, have you managed to get a Jewel Thief to work on fewer turns than just four? Let me know if you have in the comments below. Cheerio.